My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid fried chicken popcorn, get whatever you may need! And I hope you enjoy the video. So, over the many, 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 many years of me playing video games, and as a brother has gotten older, I guess I've come to appreciate video game music more and it's not like i didn't appreciate it before but now i like really pay attention to it and if a game has good video game music that like takes it up a notch for me so this video is going to be some of my favorite video game osts in the past few years now there's been a good amount of them, but I've managed to slim the list down to just a few. These are going to be for games that I loved, and I love their OSTs just as much, if not more. And it made the game even that much more epic and legendary to me, okay? So, my favorite video game OSTs in the past few years, Lego. Before we hop into that, shown on the channel previously, Into the AM has sales going on right now on all different kinds of things if you need some new clothing. From all kinds of nice graphic tees, to little subtle shirts like this that I like wearing for myself sometimes to keep me motivated. So if you're looking for some clothing for the summer, visit Into the AM now. Let's start off with Persona 5. Wow, yes, bro. Uh, my Twitch chat is actually responsible for me playing this game. I never paid no attention to this series beforehand uh they were pretty much peer pressuring me to play this game it's like bro please play persona 5 bro just play it just try it out bro please so i was like all right bro i'll 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 freaking play the game once that combo sheet of palace happened and all the stuff is going on and then the boss fight and then the music starts to kick in that's when i started to fall in love with this game i was like oh okay i get it <laughs> i love my favorite track from that game beneath the mask bro come on now. bro come on now every single time they played that track no matter how many times i heard it i was just <laughs> the track was so comfy loved that track so much but then the boss fights and then the freaking depending on which palace you're in like the only thing I, I I didn't like about how sometimes when you're just fighting like the normal enemies, like they will play you never see it coming like times ten thousand. I'm like, oh my, that that's probably the only song that I was getting tired of hearing. But that freaking track that that game has, man, the OST, uh, it makes the game even that much better. And that's really where I felt like this game shined. Like the freaking story was great. The characters were great. The gameplay was great. But I felt like the music that Persona 5 had, at least for me personally, that's really where I was like, oh, this game really one of those ones. <laughs> Bro, like this game is really good. So yeah, Persona 5 easily makes this list for me. Doom. Eternal. That man Mick Gordon on a, the uh, Doom track? Come on now, like he was literally the perfect composer to do the music for Doom. No matter if you just playing the game, going against a boss, in a Slayer gate, whatever, when them Doom tracks drop, it don't matter what you doing, you feel that jump in like the pits <laughs> of your soul. The adrenaline is pumping, the action is going to crank up like 10 notches, and it's time to kill some demons, bro. This is probably one of the few games that I would go to like a Doom Eternal like concert. Like just to hear, like just to hear the music, cause it is that epic. It is that just like alpha energy, and you can just feel that jump with all of the tracks into this game. When the only thing they fear is you track drops. That man, Mick Gordon. Woo! Come on now, Doc. Doom Eternal makes this list hands down, and the game is great. 
Anosha! Anosha took it! <laughs> I got some sushi, bro! Go to Tsushima. You already know this game was another great game that had great music in it. Video game music, if the game is good and the music also matches it, it just takes it up to that next level. And I feel like Ghost of Tsushima is one of those games. It meshes well, it's like peanut butter and jelly. It just works. It's meant to be together. And that's how I felt like for Ghost of Tsushima, bro. Easily a lot of people's favorite game in 2020. And yeah, this game was great. And so was that OST. Tekken 7, bro. Tekken 7's OST had no business being as hard as it was, bro. The freaking Tekken 7 OST might go down as like some of my favorite fighting game music. Had so many good tracks in the game. I loved Tekken 7. Actually, the only reason why I stopped playing it is because the freaking on is because the online was like laggy sometimes but the story in tekken 7 was great and the tracks that they had in that game bro bro y'all did not play tekken 7 I don't, I don't know if you guys are into fighting in, into fighting into fighting games at all <laughs> but tekken 7 is one of those games that you wouldn't expect like fighting games to have music that heat and tekken 7 is definitely one of those games to where the gameplay is freaking great and the story is great and that ost is just as good if not better tekken 7 easily making this less yes sir hades now brother mortal <laughs> joshua let's go in a second shout out to you you was responsible for me playing this game you said bro, please. i was like bro shut up <laughs> but then i finally started playing the game hades is a phenomenal indie title now i know a lot of my freaking viewers is uh ponies and y'all just play on a uh, playstation hades is now on playstation it used to just be on a uh, pc i think and now it's on pc uh uh uh, uh nintendo switch playstation it might be on xbox i'm not sure if you want to play a phenomenal indie title bro that's not that too long and it's difficult it's a roguelike game hades is like the perfect indie title like the gameplay is amazing the ost that goes with the freaking game again like i just feel i don't know if it's just me but i just feel like when a game has like great music that mat that like matches the game it makes the overall game just better <laughs> like it makes the experience that much better and that hades ost is so good what a great game hades if y'all have not played it great indie title trust me i mean do i have to say anything else? <laughs> do, do i really have to say anything else not only was this the number one game for me that made my top 100 or was it top 100 or top 50 whatever top game of last gen for me was near my favorite game of all of last gen was near automata this game right here bro lord have mercy <laughs> i you know what i really feel like that's where the freaking mode I, I feel like that's where the motivation for this video kind of stems from because i really don't feel like but prior to this game I mean, again, I always paid attention to game music, but I felt like Nier was one of those games that, like, really just made me start appreciating. Yo, this music is phenomenal, bro. Just like I said with Doom Eternal, I would go to a Nier concert <laughs> just to listen to the music. That way to the world, bro. Like, bro, what is we talking about? I, I can literally name, like, a whole bunch of near tracks. This game, I put some of my viewers onto this game. But if you want to play a game that really makes you appreciate, like, good video game music, look no further than near Automata, my brothers and sisters. Trust the brother on this. Trust me, okay? This game, hands down. This this is at the number one on this list. Final Fantasy VII Remake. 
<laughs> Another instance to where the music in the game is just as good, if not better. Like, I, I feel like Final Fantasy VII Remake is one of the best remakes that we've seen. I feel like this is a remake done to its absolute best. Outside of us having to wait like what two or three or four years to get part two, <laughs> then whoever knows when part three is gonna drop. But uh, just the quality of the remake and how they're expanding on air on on areas of the game that was not in the OG one. Final Fantasy, not even just this game, just the series. I feel like it always has been known to have great music. But yeah, this is gonna make the list. Of course, <laughs> this is probably actually the most recent game that I've played that I felt like, yeah, I'm at it. <laughs> like, like the like, and this is not just for this game, but all these games that I'm mentioning, I literally have a uh, unlisted playlist of game music that I like add like all of like good tracks from like games that I like and I want to like re-listen to. I recently added some of these tracks to my playlist for this recent game that just came out this year, actually. Say it with me. Sifu. Sifu, bro. I felt like Sifu surprised a lot of us. Now, there were definitely some people that were hyping up the game before it came out. Um, I didn't think Sifu was gonna be as good as it was. I thought I, I, I thought it was gonna be a decent, you know, little indie title though, but Sifu dropped and a lot of people loved that game. The freaking gameplay was great. It was challenging. It was rewarding when depending on which boss you face like them suckers were really like give it to your ass if, if you didn't adapt to how you were supposed to play the game. But what made this game like go up a notch for me that music in Sifu went dummy. Especially that club music. Come on now, bro. When that club music hit and you inside of the freaking dance floor and you fighting all of them suckers and then that music is in the background just going, bro. <laughs> that, that joke was going too hard. I uh, Another track that I loved in that game is I think when you was fighting... Is the third boss that 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 boss where you were uh, you're fighting her in like that snow area? I don't know if she's the third or fourth boss, but that was another track that was just like uh, like anytime tracks make your face go like <laughs> that's when that's when you know you got some good video game music in your game. Sifu got a lot of just great music that meshes well with what's going on in the game. So this is actually a game that just came out this year. And I'd say it's one of the best uh, OSTs for a game that I've heard in quite a while. Miles Morales, bro. Now, let me say this, Miles Morales, cause I've heard some people say of this and I'm like, no sucker, you won't crack. <laughs> but Miles Morales is not a better game than spot then then spider-man 2018 it's not stop it the story is not is is not as good maybe the gameplay might be a little you know different because miles is kind of op like once he get all his like powers and stuff like that like bro you can't even stop this dude this, this man got freaking electricity he could turn invisible it's like bro what are we doing <laughs> osmond rallis is a great game again insomniac bro we all know these suckers don't make bad games we all know this but Bro, I don't know if this was just me. Every time when 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 Miles Morales first came out, every time that I would start up the game, I would literally have to sit back and stay on the main menu screen for at least five minutes before I started the game. Why? <laughs> bro tell me that main menu music didn't go hard like it was a simple beat but i was like oh my god the, the music in the music on that main menu screen went so hard i was like bro this has no business being this good i can't even get past the main menu bro and the music in the game was just as good i felt like I will say say this. I felt like I did, and Spider-Man 2018 had great music in the game too. But I will say, I think I did prefer 
Miles Morales music a little bit more, you know, because it kind of had that, you know, kind of exaggeration of a black swagger team music in, in <laughs> with one of that reviewers said of that but it kind of had like you know that little just slight subtle taste of hip-hop in it but not too much it was still like kind of so yeah miles morales i'll say this i did enjoy the music in miles morales more than i did spider-man 2018 but all them suckers say oh miles was just a better stop <laughs> no it's not but yes Music wise, Miles Morales for me easily makes this list. And those are some of my favorite video game OSTs in the past few years, bro. Um, again, I don't know if it's because of the fact that I'm getting older, that I'm paying more attention to when games have great music in it. But I definitely, when I play games now, I am always listening for great music. And if it has it, that's when I start like, <laughs> that's, that's when I start like, yo, you know what? This game might be game of the year. <laughs> so yeah, I love when games have great music in it, great OSTs, whatever. What are some of you guys' uh, recent games or, you know, or it can be games from back in the day that you felt like had just phenomenal, great music in the game? What are some of your favorite game OSTs in the past few years? Let a brother know down in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until the next video, my brothers and sisters, I'll catch up boys in my next one, all right?